guys and welcome back to another video if you've been following my channel for a while or if you've seen any of my other videos you may have come across a video of me shaving my face so i thought shaving and dermal planing were the same thing but really all i was doing was shaving my damn face when i shaved i just slapped a bunch of oil on my face and went at it with the razor but today we're going to be making sure our face gets derma planed not shaved so first and foremost you need to know that the benefits of derma planing will be instant You'll have clearer skin, and you'll be able to absorb oils, treatments, and serums better. Your skin will be youthful and more glowing, and it triggers cell generation, meaning that your skin heals and creates new, healthier skin. Not to mention, makeup application will be flawless and smooth, along with many other benefits. Before we start, I'm going to go through the things that I'll be using, and it's a mix of what I've researched, a mix of what works really well with my skin. So we're starting with a mild cleanser, a basic cleanser that will just extract the oils, nothing too moisturizing, nothing too crazy. A lime as a natural toner, you can use a regular toner if you'd like. A wet rag and a dry rag. Some honey for afterward and I'll tell you exactly what the honey will provide for your skin after. Cucumber water as an after treatment as well, it's very nourishing and calming for your skin. Some facial oil as well for the aftercare. And last but not least, our dermal cleaners. Okay, I got these from TJ Maxx. They're pretty cool. Okay, first step is to get your hair out of the way with a headband or a ponytail holder, scrunchie, whatever. And then we're going to go in with our basic cleanser. It's very important to make sure that the cleanser isn't moisturizing because we are actually trying to dry out our skin. I know that seems a little bit counterproductive, but trust me on this, it's good that your skin is as dry as possible when during the planing because you want all of the moisture out so that the dead skin cells will be dry and lifted as opposed to moisturized and sticking to your skin. So we're going to use this lime as a natural toner. You can use a lemon if you'd like or a regular toner that you buy from the pharmacy or beauty supply store. But this also helps to extract out any extra oils from your skin. So I'm just going to dab that on my face really quick just to help the oils come out of my pores and we can get a really good dermaplaning session going. I am also going to use a dry rag just to dab out, you know, help the oil come out and dry out my skin. So I just waited a few extra minutes to make sure that everything was dry. And I did wind up starting by shaping my eyebrows just to get them out of the way. Okay, so we're ready to begin. So wherever you're going to be working, it's important to hold your skin tight in that area. We're going to be making small strokes downward which is very important. You want to go in the direction in which your hair is growing, which is usually downward. So as you can see already, there's so much hair coming off and I'm going to show you guys an up close look so that you can see the skin that came off with it. So you can see the dead skin that came off and this is only a small section of my face guys. Wild. Anyway, we're going to speed things up a bit and I'm going to continue shaving in small strokes and just removing all the hair and dead skin. You're gonna see throughout the session like how much hair really comes off. I'm still on one side and removing plenty of hair. And I was just like so surprised. And it's mostly the peach fuzz that just sits on your face. Like it was cool to me. Like I love doing stuff like this. And I really, really loved doing it this way as opposed to shaving with oil on my face. I feel here you have a bit more control and you also get to see a lot more of what's going on as far as the skin that you're removing. But it is just so satisfying as well just to see all of that extra stuff coming off. If you do have pimples or moles, I just want to mention that you should go around them. I actually have a lot of little moles on my face and I love them but you know they got in the way so I had to avoid them. Uh, and any breakouts that you have as well. You don't want to go over pimples because that could potentially cause an even bigger issue. So yeah. I also did like under my chin, the side of my neck. 
Okay, so this is some of the hair. I guess most of the hair that I took off my face that I was able to collect afterward. So I'm just gonna go in with the damp rag just to remove any excess hair, dead skin that's left over. And I'm gonna go straight in with the honey. So let me tell you guys about honey's benefits. It's antiseptic, antibacterial, so it cleans your skin. It's a humectant, which means that it moisturizes your skin as well. It also has healing properties, so it's just the perfect mask to do after something like dermaplaning. I absolutely love it. Um, it's also anti-inflammatory, which will reduce any redness that you get afterward as well. And in addition to the honey mask, I'm going to put a little bit more of our natural toner just to clean our face a little bit more. I guess just make sure if you do use honey, you clean very well because it's, um, it's, it's a little sticky, you know. So, um, yeah, my goodness, I highly recommend doing this. The honey really helped my face to feel... I don't know, nourish. It's also an anti-inflammatory, so I feel like it really calmed my skin down. Now I'm gonna go in with the cucumber water. This is always so refreshing. I love that spray. I'm like a little bit obsessed with honey um, and the benefits that it has on my skin in particular. So I'm going in with my Manuka Honey Face Oil. It also has jojoba oil and um, vitamin E. Usually, when I put any oil on my face, I take advantage of the oil by um, massaging it as well. I'm just going to use my quartz roller just to give my face a little massage, you know, calm it down a bit. Um, I didn't refrigerate it or anything this time, but ooh, it feels so good, the coolness. Ooh. I'm massaging in the oil as well into my skin. As I mentioned before, with the benefits, your skin just receives any serums or oils or products that you put on it much better because there's no dead skin blocking the path the pathway i'm definitely going to incorporate dermaplaning into my regular skincare routine maybe once a month because it's just beautiful i feel like my skin is so radiant wait until i take this oil off i could just see it i could see it so i'm going to use my facial globes or globs however you say it all right, so let me wash this oil off my face real quick so we can see the final results. So whenever I put the oil on my face, or any oil or whatever, I just use a damp rag so that you know, some of the oil stays on my skin, just not like crazy oily. I'm so happy with my results already. And oh my, it feels so nice. <laughs> it feels crazy smooth. I'm just, I'm just in love. This is gorgeous. I am in love with my skin right now. I do not even be doing all this. It's so, yo, you gotta try it. But everything about this facial that I just gave myself was amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway guys, it's been real. It's been great. I had so much fun doing this and oh my God, the results are and I really highly, highly, highly recommend to do it this way. And thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. Take care as always. I'll see you guys really soon in the next video.